The 2018 Cadillac XT5 lineup spans a wide range. Base models are nearly half the price of a fully loaded example, yet all models have a nicely upscale feel and comfortable front seats. We've scored it a 7 out of 10. Base models feature synthetic leather upholstery that will wear better than real hides but doesn't quite feel as upscale. Premium and luxury trim levels substitute real leather, while the Platinum goes a step further with fine Samyang Lane hide. Up front, the power adjustable buckets provide good support. Full lumbar adjustment is included on luxury and higher trim levels for the driver and passenger. The XT5 is a little narrow compared to a few of its key rivals, something that reveals itself in the back seat. There's still good room for two full size adults but a third passenger won't be very happy. The XT5 provides 30 cubic feet cargo space that can be made even larger when only smaller passengers are in the back by moving the rear bench fore and aft. The rear seat also features a 40 slash 20 slash 40 split fold arrangement that helps it max out at a decent 63 cubes. Overall, the XT5 imparts a high quality feel with nice materials, only at the upper end does it feel a little too dressed up. The Platinum is furnished beautifully, but a price tag that can top $70,000 buys more compelling luxury crossovers. Best to stick with the premium or luxury, we say. The 2018 Cadillac XT5 has been subjected to a full barrage of crash tests. While it's undoubtedly a safe vehicle, there are a few caveats and eye razors here. We've given it a 7 out of 10. Here's why. First, what's included and optional. 7 airbags stability control, and traction control. Low-speed automatic emergency braking is included on XT5 Premium Luxury and Platinum trim levels. It's optional on the XT5 Premium and not available on the base XT5, where it is bundled with active lane control, blind spot monitors, and automatic high beam headlights. Full speed automatic emergency braking comes with the driver assist package that's an extra cost option on premium luxury and platinums only. The package also includes adaptive cruise control and reverse automatic braking. That's all commendable tech. But some rivals like the Lexus or X350 and Volvo XC60 now include those features as standard on every trim level. In terms of how it crashes, the XT5 is again a mixed bag. This gives it nearly top marks. It's a top safety pick rating when equipped with either level of automatic emergency braking, preventing it from earning the top safety pick plus score are its headlights which rate as marginal with the automatic high beam lead light standard on premium luxury and platinum trim levels. Otherwise, Dia says that the XT5's other headlights, LEDs without automatic high beams and halogens, are poor, putting them at the bottom of the heap. Benza, meanwhile, issues an unusual split score depending on if the XT5 is equipped with front or all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive models earn 5 stars overall, but just four stars for rollover and frontal crash. The slightly lighter front-wheel drive model ekes by with a four-star overall rating, but the differences are minute and require a lengthy study of the NHTSA's findings. Maybe call the 2018 XT5 a 4.5 star out of 5 overall.